Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney Ruggles, Assistant Professor of Social Work at the University of Rio Grande. For February, Black History Month, Social Work students identified four local organizations which promote and provide services to Black individuals, Black communities, and encourage messages of social justice and social equality for Black people in our state, the Appalachian region, and here in Gallia County. It is imperative for social, workers, or social work students to learn, understand, and be able to analyze diversity and intersectionality to use in their future careers. These students from the Human Behavior and the Social Environment II course have identified consequences of difference and analyzed the impacts of intersectionality, helping them identify and highlight these three black-led organizations and one white-led organization which advocates for racial justice. Though these videos are being presented during Black History Month, the social work program continually educates and analyzes diversity and intersectionality throughout the year. Social workers understand the importance of diversity and difference in shaping life experiences and become more involved learners of systems that impact people both positively and negatively. The social work program presents these four episodes for Black History Month and we hope you enjoy and learn from them but also want to encourage people to do more research into black history and American history and how all of us as individuals and groups can promote social justice and social equality. Episode one is presented by social work student Michaela and focuses on the John G. Historical Center in Gallup Police. Hello, my name is Michaela and I'm a student here at the University of Rio Grande and I'm in social work. This is the first episode of Black History Month um, did you guys know that Gaia County celebrates the Emancipation Proclamation with activities during its weekends and it has been observed since 1863? It's one of the longest continuing running celebrations of the Emancipation Proclamation since 1863. The John G. African Methodist Chapel was organized in 1818 by Barbara and John G. along with six other individuals. The schoolhouse on Pine Street <laughs> is where the congregation met until the church was dedicated in the fall of 1868. It was named for John G., its first great benefactor and one of the first principal founders. The last church service was held in the John G. Chapel in August 1997. The chapel was then donated to the black community as the Black Historic Center. The desire was to create a living representation of the culture, heritage, and contributions of, of black Americans living in southeastern Ohio. The John G. Black Historical Center is a nonprofit center with the purpose of the preservation of tradition, culture, crafts, music, and art of the black Americans in southeastern Ohio.